Today I'm working on a rocket mass heater uh, for a friend and as one of the elements of it I have to create a refractory mix which is a high temperature uh, cement mix and one of the elements of it it became clear to me that I was going to need some water glass or soluble glass um, called sodium silicate and it's hard to find and if you can find it it's super expensive and so that's why I'm making this video one of the ingredients in it is silica gel now silica gel is something that's uh, very useful they use it for desk kit packs every time you buy a computer buy one uh, in the box there's a silica gel pack and I was like yeah I have some of those and I went down to the basement and got them and my wife saw him is like what are you doing with that <laughs> because what my wife uses them for is uh, they, they, they look like this and she has a bunch of them and they're little individual packets that actually look like that uh, but my, what my wife uses them for is food storage um, she put spices together and rice and noodles and all this other stuff. I don't know what's in here. All I know is you dump it in water, you boil it, and it's awesome. It's super good. And But I thought, you know what, I better not use my wife's desk, desk and pack. In my research, I found that there's another way to source, source uh, this silica gel. And there's types of kitty litter that's made out of it like this and it has to be and not all of them are but it has to be a pure silica gel this one although it has some scent stuff in it and it'll still create a pure water glass uh, formula another uh, ingredient that I found in my research uh, for this was sodium hydroxide and don't let the name fool you all it is is just lie pure 100% lye and basically it's found in household drain opener. Um, there's different kinds of household drain opener. You got to read the fine print. Some of them have also uh, not only do they have the sodium hydroxide, they have like a sodium nitrate in it. Those cannot be used. The third ingredient is just distilled water. So if you want to make it easier on yourself, you can just click the link below. I just wanted to talk a little bit about a subject matter that's just kind of been weighing a little bit heavy on my heart lately. Um, and that's safety. Because as the honeydew carpenter, I work with a lot of dangerous equipment. Saws and torches and you need to understand all the hazards surrounding any saw you're going to use or any chemical you're going to use and how to take the preventative measures. My concern is that someone just might see me do it and they just might willy-nilly run out and try and copy what I'm doing without understanding all that stuff. And um, I, I, I wouldn't want something bad to happen. In this next phase of the project, we're gonna be working with a caustic chemical. So it's household drain opener, but it's still very dangerous and a super poisonous and it, you never add water to this ever if you ever mix the two you always have to add this to the water and do it slowly because it creates intense heat and it will boil also the receptacle that you use to mix it in it must be either a tempered glass like a pyrex or a stainless steel. I recommend stainless steel because you can usually get them in larger receptacles and you can always wear the gloves, the eye protection, the protective clothing and just make sure you don't get this stuff on you. If you do get it on you, you'll want to flush with water for like 15 minutes. Follow the um, directions on the label as far as all the safety pre uh, precautions go. Your safety is up to you. Also, we have a link below that you can purchase this through but there's a it might be because it's a chemical it might cost a little bit more to ship so it might be better just to go get this 
It's from your hardware store. Okay guys, we did one batch and we did it in a glass receptacle and it made about 700 grams of uh, water glass and it turned out great. However, I'm gonna need more than this because I'm doing a heat riser as well. And so I'm gonna make a larger batch and I'm gonna use a, a larger stainless steel receptacle. So I think I'll make a triple batch so I have a good amount. I'll need to measure out 600 grams of sodium hydroxide, which is lye. We're going to need 900 grams of the silica gel. Let's see how much I get in there. Okay. And five. So now we have our 1500 milliliters of distilled water. Now, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and uh, slowly add in the sodium hydroxide or the 100% lye, that's going to start creating a little bit of heat. Are we going to do that outside? Um, yeah, well, what we'll do is we'll leave it in here and let it just kind of boil down on its own chemically and then we'll take it outside and put it on the burner to accelerate the process of dissolving the rest of the okay. uh, silica gel in and show them the final product. You can see it just kind of sits there for a while. You can tell it's not even uh, dissolving in, but once it starts, the chemical reaction starts dissolving in. It uh, is pretty intense what happens. It hasn't started yet. It's still perfectly clear water. The water will start getting cloudy, and then you know it's starting. There, you see the water starting to get cloudy? It's starting to create a little bit of heat. Okay, it's starting to wind down where it's quitting boiling, so I'm going to add some heat. The silica gel is, uh, with that heat, really accelerates the process and it's dissolving in really quickly. Every bit of this kitty litter will dissolve in there. It's 100% pure silica gel. It'll have some dyes in it because they, uh, all the perfumes actually boil out, but the dyes um, will stay and that won't affect the integrity of the product at all. And we'll just continue to bowl, boil and roll this until it kind of gets a, like a boiling sugar. Uh, on top, it'll it'll start to get syrupy on us. But it's yeah, it's totally dissolved. It's a rolling boil. It's getting a film.
So this turned out great. It looks perfect. You let it sit for a second and it starts to get a skin on it. If you pull the knife out, the droplets are suspended on it. That's perfect. That just tells me we have a really highly concentrated mix. That's how it's supposed to be. I'm going to go ahead. This is cool enough. I'm going to go ahead and dump it now into this bottle. Oop. There we go. That wasn't me. Some skin uh, like that. Nice pour job, babe. Thank you, Sudie.